Hi friends, my name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to do another collective reading. We're going to go ahead and light a little bit of Sagey Sage to get us started. I want to thank you repeat offenders for stopping in to watch. And for those of you that are brand new, thank you for coming by. I hope that everyone receives exactly what it is that you are seeking, even if it's just amusement, okay? So let's see what the cards have to say. I really enjoyed yesterday's reading. We started with The Magic of You. It is a deck of cards by Fiona Horn. So I feel like we're going to open up with this and see where it goes. Show me what I need to see. For the collective, show me what I need to see. Anything that's going to be helpful, anything that's going to open up paths, unlock mindsets, open up hearts, whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that we need to know today in order to grow and just obtain our whatever, our happiest self maybe. Show me what I need to see for today for the collective and show me now. Resilience. Born. Oh, burn away the past. I'm like, is it born that way? No. Okay, cool. So burning away the past. Wow. Take a look at this cloud almost. It's like a cotton gauze or something on the top of her mind. So you might be feeling like you have a lot of clutter to deal with. It might be physical clutter. In fact, I feel like for 90% of us, it's probably clutter that we have in our homes or in storage or anything like that um, that might be dragging us down, weighing on our minds, or making us feel cloudy, even your like current surroundings, okay? There is a need to burn away the past. Let's get a different stand here. And I feel like that will help bring clarity. Maybe there's a question of how to go about this. All right. So let's see what else we get. We have burning away the past. Things that weigh us down, that keep us bogged down. What is this? Okay. Show me why for the collective. Show me why this is here, please, and show me what I need to see. Show me now. Two cards, please. We are going to take this one. This one fought real hard to stay, so I guess we're going to take three. One from here. So I'm also going to say that burning away the past and there's a resiliency. I feel like this has to do also with how life is turning out lately for some of us. So it could be current events. It could be burning the past. Some of you guys are going through a divorce, relationships, ups and downs, upheavals, I heard. Um, job upheavals as well. I feel like being, it's like almost being bogged down or tied down by things that serve no purpose any longer. Okay, so let's see what else we have regarding this. Outdoors. Let's bring her in closer. And this is by the Archangel Oracle Cards. Doreen Virtue. Outdoors, Archangel Jophiel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yeah, so some of you guys have been tied up too much in here. I feel like even some of you guys, old school like me, but some of you guys have paper, like newspapers, magazines that you don't read anymore, things that you just can get rid of. Okay, um... Anything like that. Maybe old journals. Also old stories that you were telling yourself. 
So it could be attachments, old things, places, people, things, um, thinking, okay, this person's going to come back to me, or this is going to happen, or I've been waiting forever. Whatever the case may be, make sure you're not placing your life on hold for anyone, okay? It's just not healthy. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So whatever is coming up to mind, whatever cropped up in your brain, right? When I started talking about this, I feel like this is something that perhaps you should be acting on. I feel like you have the lantern, like the way, the answers already. And you know, most of us like know what to do. It's just almost like feeling stuck or how to go about it or procrastinating or a combination thereof. But I feel like you have that light behind you and you also have the light and the lantern. It's giving me some Virgo vibes, like having to go within, having to do some homework, having to retrieve things from the past, only what is of the utmost importance. Picture like, you know, God forbid, but like a fire burning or something like that. And then you want to go rescue, you know, the top five things that are the most important. What would you grab out of that home outside of, you know, people and pets and things like that? So what would you grab? Would you grab your laptop? Would you grab your cell phone? Probably not. We don't care about those things. <laughs> But I think a lot of us would be going after photographs um, or things that just cannot be replaced. And I feel like that's just a great lesson and a mindset to have. It's like, what is it that you would really be so sad to lose? If you had to pick five things, if you had to go on a journey and pick five things, what are those five things that you would not be able to get over losing that you would have to bring with you? Okay. So let's see this right here clairvoyance this card keeps coming up y'all archangel raziel i am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can see heavenly love so you can clearly see heavenly love wow that's so cool and i love how this um it's almost like, look, you already have the answers within you. I feel like we've been so trained to go outside, away from source, away from spirit, away from spirituality, God, goddess, whatever it is that you call it, that is your higher source, okay? I feel like we've been just really led astray to really trust more like the media or what we see with our eyes and, um, you know, old school, like what is in newspapers or... Uh, magazines right now whatever the case may be I feel like this is saying you know trust your heart and you know what to do like whatever is within you that is lighting a passion lighting a fire lighting a desire I feel like you have a certain glow about you when you think about this one thing and in fact if you have no idea what this one thing is right because I feel like we have many things in our lives um if you're looking for this one thing or the answer, you keep thinking, well, I'm listening to this stupid video and she's not telling me what it is. It's like, I already know. Why am I, why am I here? I've watched videos and I've been in the same mindset. I'm like, well, that helped nothing. Um, but Spirit's basically saying you do have the answer within. You may think you do not. So it might be a good idea for you to get centered, for you to maybe say a prayer, Line up your chakras, do a little sagey sage, whatever ritual, have a cup of coffee, take a deep breath, have some tea, get a bubble bath, whatever the case may be, and just really get centered and maybe even perhaps do like this angel is doing and place your hand over your heart and get really still. And one thing that um, Deepak Chopra talks about is really getting still and asking yourself in a non-judgmental way, just like every day taking deep breaths and saying, heart, what is it that you want? What is it that you need? What do you need? And wait for the answer. And just maybe even ask five times, just heart, what do you need? And allow yourself with a peaceful, like, I guess it's like a soft gaze. If you do photography or if you like mess with your camera, um, it's almost like trying to get that zoom lens to focus, but instead allow it just to get fuzzy and relaxed and ask your heart what it is that it needs. 
And then you can ask from there, proceed, like, how do I go about that, okay? So I think that's going to be very, very important. What is it that you need? Do you need trust? Do you need faith? Do you need peace? Do you need to be able to be heard? Do you need um, to be creative? Do you need a new job? Do you need, um, you know, to get out of a situation? Whatever it is that your heart needs, it's planted there for a reason. So... I would say, you know, listen to that and then remove the debris around it. It's almost like unearthing or unearthing something. We can speak, right? Unearthing something really special. Um, <laughs> I'm like, how much do I share? How much do I not? Yeah. I just feel like a lot of us do have things in our hearts, maybe even things that you need to retrieve from the past. Um, just like with the hermit card, that's not the hermit card, but I'm feeling hermit vibes, you know, so you have to go to the past and see, it's like when you were growing up or when you were younger and idealistic and life didn't beat you down, <laughs> right? You didn't experience blows from, I don't know, the turn of the year or current events or whatever the case may be. What is it that you were idealistic about? What were you hopeful about and excited about? And what was it that made you like really wake up bright eyed and bushy tailed and want to actually do and be super excited? And mm, I guess for me that the one passion I had was writing. And so I feel like I probably need to get back to that and clean all the debris, all the debris being, oh, let me focus on my job. Let me focus on making videos. Let me focus on doing reading for clients or you know, let me, whatever the distractions are, some of those are ob obviously necessary, but there's a lot of distractions. For example, scrolling nonstop on social media, binging on TV, on Netflix, on Amazon Prime, whatever the case may be, or even just binging on reading your books and wanting to escape. Any form of escapism, you know, party party without really addressing what it is that your soul and your heart really, really desires. But Spirit's saying that you're really resilient, that you have what it takes to be able to connect. So I feel like even maybe the steps to take, if you're one of those like me, I need steps. I'm like, give me steps. So I would say like go outdoors. Um, and maybe even soak in a, a bubble bath before you go. That sounds weird, but just kind of get rid of your energy there and then go outdoors or vice versa, what the case may be. And know that you are, and put the intention out, Spirit, I'm looking for what it is that my heart needs right now, the direction that I need. Because, yeah, I know I'm resilient. Yes, I know I need to burn away the past. But how can I bring forth my best self into this world to be able to accomplish whatever mission? Now, for some of you guys, I feel like you're androgynous or um, going through some changes. I don't know your life, obviously. That is not for me to judge. Um, and so maybe there might be that, you know, hanging on to old life while you're trying to live a new life. So I'm looking at the card, um, of resilience, <clears throat> excuse me, burning away the past. And this would add up to number nine, but the number two, just by itself, I always think about balance. I always think about personal power. I also think about Trying to stand your ground when the wind pushes or it's almost like it's not exactly juggling, but being able to maintain your balance and your sovereignty and your um, autonomy, all of those things. And I think that this comes into playing this narrative beautifully because it's really important that you, um, I heard the word cello, okay? So it's a, not a judgment. I mean, we all have to work to make our bills. Um, and sometimes, yeah, we're giving these like dreams and they feel so lofty and they feel unattainable and they feel so very much whatever they feel. But it's for saying that if you just really burn away the debris, it's right there for you. It's been there all along. Okay. And an example of that would be, um, I do have a book that I've written and I sent it to a proofreader and then that's as far as I got. It's just on pause. It's not on permapause. Why? Because I overthink things. I think, well, maybe I want to add to it. Maybe I just don't like this, that, the other. Or what about, you know, the cover or any any other things? Um, 
I'm also super paranoid about the spelling and things like that. So I'm like, maybe you should take it to another proofreader. <laughs> In between two of them, make sure we get it right, you know, anything like that. So it's just kind of crazy things that kind of keep us in our heads, okay? And I even see that, like, this lady, she can't see a damn thing. Let's see. She can't see a damn thing. Like, all the clarity is for her to have if she were but to stand up. But some of you guys need to stand up. You need to stand up for your rights. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand up for your convictions, for your beliefs, for um, for your personal rights to decide what it is that you want for your life. Whatever it is, you know what it is that you need to stand up for. But I feel like the mere act of her standing up is going to really kind of drop all this clutter by the way we're in. And she'll be able to kind of crunch through, step through, clear out the debris, whatever the case may be. Because it's almost feeling like the outside is crept in, okay, with like these branches coming through here. Let's see if we can get this better. And this is like obviously dark image, so it's hard to, hopefully you can see. Um, yeah, all these branches are keeping, uh, creeping through her house. And when I think of your house, I think of like your temple, your body's a temple, your house, um, also your physical home. And some of us, you know, don't have a home. So if you, for example, are homeless or couch surfing or renting a room or apartment, same, same, all of it, same, your home, whatever you call home, okay? So it could feel like the outside is encroaching in. And so maybe you need to do some clearing. Like I live in an area where fires are really, really prevalent. Um, and that's an important thing. And I'm not well versed, but I have friends that are helping me. And so there's a need to really clear areas before anything radical happens. Um, and I just even think about like, you know what to do. If you were to find exactly what it is that you wanted or make attempts to go ahead and go after what you want to bring into the world, whatever it is, okay? Um, you would go ahead and light that fire, but there's so much debris around that everything's gonna go up in smoke. I heard, dude, everything is going to go up in smoke. So again, whatever from the outside creeping in, from the outside that you've perhaps allowed by simply shutting this damn window, it's like, no, I don't need to let everything in. And so you have the power by shutting off social media, by shutting off um, the news, by, you know, being discerning on what it is that you are going to watch or allow into your temple, into your mind, into your heart, whatever the case may be. So a lot of, I feel like a lot of it is mental. Moving on. I feel like we've spent a lot of time here. <clears throat> okay. So let's see what else we have. Let's get some cards. We're going to do messages from your angels. And if you guys know, you'll probably notice, but maybe not. I don't know. That I'm using a lot of like angel cards and different kind of cards that actually I've never used in the past. And it's working out really well. It's super fun. Of course, I have to combine them. Um, yeah. But anyways, let me know. Let me know because I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. Let's find out what it is that's going on. Show me a little bit more about this debris and what it is that we need to know. Why are these cards here, please, for the collective? Show me what I need to see and show me now. I heard it's simple, it's simple and straightforward. So, Daniel, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I heard Siri in my mind. I'm like, please don't do that. It's annoying. Okay. So, the angel of marriage. Interesting. So, if some of you guys are getting married, or if your person of interest is married, or vice versa, or marriage plays in any way, shape, and form in your life, know that Angel Daniel is assisting you right now. And whatever ails you, whatever um, your heart's desire is to clear the debris maybe in your marriage. Maybe past hurts, past offenses, and things that have been done that cannot be undead, but that can certainly um, be cleared at least more than what's going on here, okay? Some of you guys straight need to get some sun, let me tell you. 
Um, that girl is completely pale. A lot of us have pale complexions, but also I just feel like, you know, with this outdoors, we need just a little bit of sun, a little bit of that vitamin D. Don't be slathering all that uh, SPF garbage. I mean, I totally, you know, I get what the harmful rays and all that, but it's important for you to get some sun as well. So perhaps going out for the first 15 minutes of the day and the last 15 minutes of the evening only to get direct sunlight if possible. But obviously I'm not a doctor, use your own discernment, okay? Bottom of the deck we have Yvonne, Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Look, how cute. So some of you guys could have lost a pet recently. I did. And uh, so if there's any doubts, that, you know, if your pets are around, um, they're definitely being taken care of. And it's different. It's They don't need the care, obviously, that we gave them here. But your pets are happy your pets are happy even if they're on the other side i feel like for some of you guys you can actually feel them or dream them vividly um my my dog uh we would she had many names all my animals have multiple names so her name was sissy sister i would call her daisy i would call her <laughs> a bunch of different names but uh she was something else anyways i've had some incredibly vivid dreams and uh i've woken up just seeing her running to me and she was all wet from a bath and so i've literally woken up with like these vivid dreams and waking up like sobbing because i missed her so some of you guys are really like in mourning missing your pets it's gonna apply to a couple of people not everybody of course So let's get a little bit more energy here. Show me what I need to see. Why are these cards here, please? About cleaning the debris of the past, letting go of the past, how things are different. We can bring light. And we can, most importantly, bring in what we do want into our lives and block out what we don't. Um, and cut things and burn things away that no longer serve us. Show me what I need to see. For the collective here, please. If you like this kind of reading, please do smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe, and show me now. The King of Wands. Yeah, this is going to bring back your mojo, your excitement, your... <sighs> I feel like you guys have been low energy lately. Potentially depressed, potentially entangled. Whoa, where'd that come from? Okay, so potentially entangled. Um, some of you guys are involved in like this third party thing or you have one person and I don't know what's going on. If you have too many people in your relationship and you're like stressed about it, obviously that's telling you right there, it's just no good for you. I'm not one to judge, but uh, I would say just keep it really simple. <laughs> You know, but this is about getting your mojo back. This is about finding a fire, your excitement. This is about standing in your power. <laughs> Check out his bigote. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to show you that mustache. You guys remember orange is the new black with porn stash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have porn stash vibes. Anyways, okay, stop. So, angel reading, Grisel. Yeah, so this is going to be definitely something that gets gives you back your mojo, your excitement, your drive. And again, it's kind of backing up what in, uh, Archangel Raziel is saying that he's helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully. Now, I kind of do want to address, I'm being led to address this third party thing or, or having more people in your relationship or whatever situation ship is. I personally have no interest in like reading about that now, but Spirit's saying read so here we are okay bottom of the deck and my hairs are standing up so this is for somebody that needs to hear it. i don't know who look oh my gosh all these cards are slippery um the hierophant <clears throat> let me just do this now the hierophant of you guys probably know is about commitment it's about higher learning it's about 
being an authority of things that are sometimes unseen. It's about even like a spiritual connection. It could also be a commitment in a marriage, a, a whatever commitment you happen to be in or you're considering or is being affected by this like third party thing. And I feel like you have, you know, your sight set on something that's not close to you. So it could be that you're not necessarily involved in a third party, but you're with someone and you feel like, you know, almost like that's kind of done and over, like that relationship is no longer good for you. And I don't know, I don't like the idea of our society, like throwing people away, like big lighters, you know, we're human, we're not big lighters, but I do understand that people outgrow each other as well. So um, I just have a lot of feelings about like using people for comfort or staying because that's what they expect and making yourself miserable. Or my personal favorite is I'm just going to stay here for the kids. I mean, the kids see you be miserable too and the fighting and arguing or whatever. Or staying because of money or staying because of assets. You know, I just... um I tend to be a little bit more balls to the walls, you know, it's like, if it's not for me, I don't fucking want it. I just don't want it. And I don't care what it comes with or what it leaves me with. Like, in the end, you come into this world, you know, naked with nothing, and you're going to exit pretty much the same way. So what is the point in all of it? Um, I'm just going to say, like, being held down and bogged down by by things is just a ridiculous way to live or it's just a mindset that is not healthy. So I would say just consider, it says burn away the past, whatever that is, even if you have to leave a marriage and split your assets 50-50 or whatever the case may be. And you guys might be thinking, well, Grisel, easy for you to say it's not your life. You're correct. It is not my life. Um, but I also see that, yeah, while you're resilient, you do need to burn away the past, that you do have the strength, the power, and the wisdom to be able to do this. Now, number seven, I didn't address here. Number, number seven to me is about spiritual awakening. It's about even the Hierophant vibes. It's about getting things right in your mind, in your heart, and knowing what it is that you are going after. It's about not allowing outside to distract what's within. So if you have your heights, your heights, your eyes set on something else, someone else, um, it's going to be really important, you know, that you make that core decision, like not allowing, oh, this is a temporary, like, less, I'm lusting after somebody and have no idea how they feel, but I fantasize about them. I'm, my, I'm with my wife, my husband, a partner, whatever the case may be. Um, okay, your life once again, but I just don't see the point in things like that. Um, I just feel like it should be really simple and straightforward, but what the hell do I know, right? Look, we've got the emperor. The emperor, this is like, I want to have it my way. <clears throat> but this is also the family person, the family man. This is like, I want to make everything well for my family. Um, I want to take care of everyone. This is the four corners of the earth. This is the four corners of your home, your temple, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this emperor, I feel like this is you for most of you guys, is saying basically, listen to me, I know how things are done, this is a traditional way, I'm the one that has all the answers, I'm the one that takes care of my family and everything else, well that is fantastic, if you're committed to your family, then more power to you, I think that's awesome, um, if your mind is divided, if your mind is cloudy, if you're aspiring and looking and you have your brain on something else, and I feel like that's a problem, that's just my personal opinion, <laughs> But that's probably why I have no partner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's just not good. I mean, why have all this brain fog? And why be in doubt and like longing for something different? I just, that's not my life. Next, we have the five of cups. Okay. This is about sadness. This is about wishing that things were differently, mourning things from the past, wishing things were different. Um, if ha this has to do with current events and this is like your resilient burn away the past, like that life is no longer for you. Things are different, which it is for most of us, if not all of us. Um, you know, or whatever the case may be, if you've left a partner, somebody left you, if you lost a job, whatever, whatever the case may be, I feel like this is talking about, you know, being sad about things that were things that 
are no longer in your life. And maybe perhaps this person has been sitting around kind of thinking too much about things that were or things that could have been possibilities. Um, in the traditional tarot, the five of cups has three cups knocked over, which talks about the good old times, the times that we, we used to celebrate, the times we got along. Maybe if you're in a marriage partnership situation, y'all got along, things worked out. Maybe, I hope not, but maybe someone has passed away and you're grieving their passing, which is absolutely understandable. There's still a need to clear out some of the past. So it may be that perhaps you have not been able to bring yourself to go through the closet, to go through the clothing or whatever the case may be um, of that person, whatever they owned and things like that. And I totally get it. Um, I feel like that would be a really, really good business for someone to be able to go in on a personal level and just spend time with people um, undergoing a painful loss and allowing them the time that they need to go through things and, and help them go through things and say, well, is this, you know, keep or donate or trash? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. But anyways, if you make that business, you're welcome. Um, I have the Magician. This one jumped out of my deck. Now, the Magician came up reversed. And the Magician tells me that you're feeling like you don't have the resources, the power, or like you're just not able to bring things about. But something about the Magician reversed has a lot to do with, like, brute force. And I feel like with the Emperor, it's almost like you're trying to tough it out or white-knuckle it or... Um, something to that effect it's like you're you're really trying hard to make things work but you're not even trying to make things work in a way that's going to be healthy for you i don't know so let's see interesting you're trying to make things work maybe this is tradition i've always been expected or my wife depends on me to do this that and the other or she doesn't have a job or i don't know what the case is but there's a feeling of you don't have the tools or I drop the tools or I can't create the life that I want with what it is that I have. There's a feeling of helplessness there. And that's why you need to clear all this energetic stuff. So even if you have an immaculate house, immaculate life, whatever the case may be, it still pertains to you. It's just talking about the resilience that you need to burn away is within you, if that is the case, okay? So, Ten of Wands, whatever's been feeling like a burden, we're going around run circles, whatever this is to you. Some of you guys, it's multiple things. You need to close it out with the world. You need to close it out and look. This little boy is pointing at the star. Go after what it is that you want. Hey, look at that star. This kid is like, it's been a burden. Whatever you're doing right now is an albatross. You're burnt out. You're exhausted. It's hard to wake up, get up, do whatever it is you've got to do. Um, something has to end, change in a radical way. So this kid is like, remember the star? This with the Hierophant vibes to me. The Hierophant has a lantern and he lights it up on the past and goes, remember this. Remember, this is what you really want. Oh, good grief. So... There's elements to that, okay? If there's situations in your life like, uh, you know, for those of you that are not partnered, if, if there's someone in your mind that's been on your mind for a long time and you haven't done the whole shoot your shot with them or spoken to them or let them know how you really feel, I feel like now's the time. Um, and maybe that's what this mental delivery is. Everybody is, again, going to be different. So... We've got the note of swords. This is about gaining clarity. This is about, okay, I need clarity on how to do this. I want to really um, have a clear mindset. And maybe part of that clarity is you going outdoors. Part of that clarity is you going ahead and getting the debris cleared up, knowing that you are actually strong enough, powerful enough, wise enough, that you do actually have all the tools that... You know, I heard some of you guys, well, I haven't dated in years or I'm out of the game in years. I don't even know how to go about that. And I'm getting that from the magician reverse here that popped up. You do have everything that it takes. Just open up your mouth, even if you're trembling, even if you're stuttering, you know, like I just did. 
doesn't make a difference. I mean, like, in the end, we're all people. Why do we, like, think we have to live up to this facade of perfection? It's ridiculous. Nothing is perfect. That's why they invented Photoshop. Enough said. The Eight of Cups. There's going to be a need to, yep, look, look. Eight of Cups, walking away from something that you put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy into. Why are you walking away? Because you're going to be closing a cycle, a cycle or plural cycles, whatever the case may be. Going after this one star, what it is that your star is, I have no idea. Now this world's starting to look to me like a lemon. So it may be very like sour, like a sour thing to be able to close out your world. Like things didn't, um, you may feel like, what the hell, I put all this time and energy into it and kind of bitter. Yeah, bitter, bitter. Um, you might be feeling bitter that you have to kind of leave because just things did not work the way you expected. But leaving the eight of cups, you're in pursuit of the ninth cup. In this case, I feel like for all of you, if not most of you, if not all of you, this is talking about stability. This is about a new home, a new, um, anything that's stable. Anything that causes like celebration it can be moving into a new apartment, throwing your lot with somebody else. But bottom line is this person is just free. It's like, look, I used to have a little, now I have a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that Cardi B? Anyways. Um, yeah, so maybe it's reverse. Maybe it's like you had a lot and all of a sudden... Even if she want half and you're going through a divorce or vice versa, I don't know your life, whatever the case may be. Even if you lose things, look at how this person found themselves. They don't have a damn thing around them. Just trusting that what you need is yourself. And remember the five things I said to rescue out of that burning house? If you had it, you know, to decide obviously rescuing yourself and whatever makes you feel stable. And the four of wands is all about stability. It's about celebration. It's about happiness, being content with what it is that we have. It's uh, even if it's four sticks. And so I feel like this is saying your spirit will rejoice, get connected with mother earth, with Gaia, whatever it is that you um, are keen on. And that is your reading. I don't want to make it longer because I certainly can. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for you today. Much love to you. Thank you so much and namaste.